So I spent a week with this silent killer, as I have deemed it, a laptop that not a lot of people are talking about, but has amazing potential for creative professionals. Found a few things that I love, a few things that I don't like too much, and then we'll talk about if this laptop could be a good purchasing decision for you as I continue to work through the benchmarks. Now, first and foremost, some things that I don't love too much, uh, the battery life. This has a 99 watt hour battery, and off of my initial test, it only got about two hours of streaming video playback battery life. What I have found is the Gigabyte Control Center doesn't really do a lot to actually manage the fan speed and the performance it, it does a little bit, but just by the battery tests alone, it doesn't seem to actually give me a lot of control to tune back the fans, slow down the GPU and the CPU to give us really great battery life results. So I would say a ding in a negative standpoint would be battery life thus far. However, the performance of this laptop has shown really great results. Taking a look at the 6K B-RAW playback, it only had 25 drop frames at full quality and 6K red footage only 96 drop frames at full quality out of the 16,177 in the project. Now the export time for a nine minute 4K clip out of Premiere Pro was two minutes and 19 seconds. A really great export time on my channel. Taking a look at Photoshop, a 1,097 on par with a lot of the best laptops coming out in 2023 right now. Now I messed up during the unboxing and put the G14 webcam into the review so we can actually see this webcam. Here's a sample of the webcam for you. This is a sample of the webcam on the Gigabyte Aero 16 OLED and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now, one thing that's really annoyed me is the keyboard backlighting. If I turn on the keyboard backlighting, you almost see the, the, the letters and numbers almost disappear, uh, especially when I'm in a bright room. Now, if it was dark, obviously you could see this better, but if I turn it off, it actually appears better than if it's on when you're in a bright room. So just keep that in mind. I thought it was a little weird, a little annoying. Now the trackpad is nice. It's got a very nice click. However, it is a little on the loud side. So if you want somebody who's in a classroom or an office setting, you might wanna bring a mouse or just use you know, the nice Windows like tap function instead of actually clicking the trackpad because it's pretty loud. So just keep that in mind as well. Now 3D modeling scores were good, but they weren't great. That's one area that I was shocked with because this is an RTX 4070 with an i9 processor. The scores we got for 3D modeling were not impressive compared to some of the other laptops coming out. They were good, don't get me wrong, they were better than some laptops in 2022, but for a 2023 model with the latest GPU and CPU, they were not amazing. The build quality and assembly on this laptop is solid. It's something they've really been working on over the past few years. I love looking into this laptop. I think this badging and the two-tone down here along the bottom of the bezel is just very, very attractive. Even the way they've set up the webcam here with this little notch, it's got a rubberized bezel. So when it closes down on the lid, it closes very softly. So some really great design touches that they've put together. The hinge is very sturdy. It holds the screen on very well. And of course the bottom cover has a very nice large vent. So this laptop will stay cool. It is a little on the loud side, but it will stay cool with these large open vents. So it has some really nice touches that I'm impressed by. Now it has limitation in regards to the ports. We have one USB type C, micro SD card reader, and a headphone jack two USB type C's on the right side and a singular USB type A on the back panel. So we only have one USB type A, which isn't a complete killjoy, but uh, I think two might be helpful just to have a little bit of flexibility. And then of course you have an HDMI and then your power adapter. Overall, I think this laptop has fantastic build quality, is getting great performance in Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve. Seeing a little bit of lag inside of 3D modeling softwares. So let's do some more tests and see if we can improve those results. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Clear top of the screen here for more videos about the Gigabyte Aero 16.